All right, I'm training with FrontStretch.com here with LeVar Scott. Uh, you just got done with Bristol, um, but this is more, we're talking a little bit more about your career and stuff, but, you know, uh, being an ARC and stuff, how is Bristol for you and how was your night and just Bristol overall in general? Yeah, uh, Bristol's a, a great track. Um, it's obviously very iconic. It's an amazing track to race at. It's an amazing track that ARCA brings the cars to race at. So, um, obviously, today we finished third and my team Rev Racing, my crew chief DJ, and uh, NASCAR Drive Diversity brought me a really great car today. Um, we had some issues in qualifying, had to start in the rear end, and was able to drive up to third. So um, that's just a testament to the team that we never give up, and I'm grateful that we were here at Bristol today. Like I said earlier, it's just an iconic track. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, and uh, you're, you're uh, doing pretty good in ARCA this year, and so I want to talk to you just to give fans a little bit more, you know, like a little bit about you, where you come from and stuff, because you're a little bit of a newer name, maybe in the grand scheme of uh, – um, NASCAR and stuff and so um, you're with Red Racing you mentioned the uh, Drive for Diversity program so you know just a little bit about your career path you know where you know how did you get your start and all that stuff yeah so um when I was very very young my mom grandfather they were drag racers um, so obviously my mom raced my grandpa racing it was, it was all we did on the weekends all we did on weekdays too and um, when my, my brother started racing at a young age so obviously he's my older brother I wanted to follow his uh, path and what he was doing so he started doing uh, Dirt quarter midgets in Delaware and New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and then I started, and we just started racing together every single weekend, and um, it turned into what I wanted to do as a career and for my life. So once I turned 12, I got into the bigger cars, bigger divisions, won some big races, and then when I turned uh, 16, I got the chance to come down to North Carolina to be a part of the race for the combine, and, and did really well there, and has been a part of the team ever since. Um, back in 2020, I ran Legends. 21, I ran. Um, late models, 22 late models, and 23 ARC East, and now here we are in an ARC national spot. That's interesting. You guys, uh, your family comes from drag racing. What made you go the stock car route instead of uh, maybe wanting to get into the drag racing world? Yeah, I don't know how the rules are back then, but I remember or well, how the rules are now, but back then you have to be eight years old to race drag. And at the time I was five, and I wanted to start racing, and so the only option for me was uh, dirt quarter midgets. Okay. And so uh, the Drive for Diversity program, you know, I believe it turned, what, 20 years old uh, this year? Um, sure, yeah, 21, yeah. So... Um, just, you know, their, their help with you guys, you know, other guys like Raja and Bubba, who's in the Cup Series and stuff, you know, given, you know, different um, drivers an opportunity and stuff who may not have them, you know, just how big of a role has that played in your career thus far? It's been everything to me, just leaning on guys that, that have been in my position before. I mean, obviously, this is a super successful program. I mean, look what it did, like you said, with Bubba, Raja, Nick just signed a deal two days ago to go full-time extremely racing. So, um, like, if you just do your job and do what they do what they say, um, just listen to the, to the people ahead of you like you you can succeed in the sport and um, I just listen I try to soak everything in and, and try to weed out what's gonna work for me and um, so far uh, it's worked yeah and so you, you mentioned you finished third tonight and I believe you're also pretty hype in the arc of point standings as well um, what do you feel like you have to do more of to maybe uh, you know close the gap a little bit and, and win the championship this year with with uh, the few races we got coming up um, my teammate Andres Perez he's super good super consistent um, we had some mechanical issues that kind of really put a huge gap in our chase to the points to the championship. So, I mean, honestly, right now I'm just trying to maximize every chance I get on the racetrack. And if we get the championship, if we have a chance to, awesome. If we don't, I'm still super happy just to, to be here this year this year and, and compete. Um, like I said earlier, like my teammate Andres, he's super consistent. So I always like to stay positive and confident, but I'm, I'm happy to be finished one and two. Yeah, and going forward and stuff, you know, you know, right now you're with Rev Racing, but what other opportunities are you looking for, or maybe in other series or different types of cars? You mentioned Legends earlier, uh, Cars Tour, and all that kind of stuff. You know, just what are you trying to do more as a driver to get better outside of um, moving up the uh, the NASCAR ranks? Yeah, I want to race everything, uh, anything and everything I can race. Um, when I'm not racing with Rev, Rev Racing, um, Rev is my main priority. But if I ever have any opening weekends, I want to race anything and get the chance to race. That's going to help my career and, and benefit me. Um, even today finishing third and starting last, like there's still things I need to work on. I want to work on getting better restarts or just doing everything better and racing more stuff can help help with that. So um, anytime I get a chance to, to race something and it's not uh, conflicting with Rev, I'm, I'm all for it. Well, LeVar Scott, thanks for your time today. Uh, congrats on the good finish today and uh, good luck for the rest of your season. I'm Trenton with FrontStretch.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Steven Stump of FrontStretch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.